What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another video. So this is just going to be a quick one. A lot of people have been struggling with the under 20 100 cup. So I've actually been fairly beasting in it lads. This is the third week of doing it or the third event. So it's a handy eFootball coins. Look, you know, they don't give away eFootball coins for free anymore. So you do need to be doing these events if you want to get them. And you can do, you know, like you can get 400 free coins uh, a month by doing this which look it isn't a lot obviously but it's better than nothing if you want to stay completely free to play this is the way to do it with events like this so you've got the international cup here with the main reward being 50 football coins and that has repeated uh for the last two weeks so you complete the reward and then there's another one as well which is uh the challenge that has no limit on it so this one is an under 2100 team strength limit not that people really do that anyway because they white bench uh and then this one has no limitations on it at all so you get your rewards for that you get 50 e coins uh e-football coins for that and for that but look the international cup one just pick your best players that you have. Like, that's not a problem. But for this one here, right, I actually have a very, very good, I won't say like a foolproof team um, that will score your goals be because it does take a little bit of, uh, I won't say skill. It's just more of a play style. Like, it is a possession-based play style uh, team, right? So as you can see here, we're going to go into the squad. This is the full squad. You can see there that the base strength is 2100. We are playing with a Spanish squad We've got depth, we've got speed, we've got passing ability, we've got perfect possession players. We haven't had to train up any players, so we don't need to waste any trainers. Uh, we get the boost with the team playstyle level being above 90. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys, right? You'll probably have a lot of these players. Now, you can apply this to any team, right? You can apply this to any team. So if you've got 40 French players or 40 Brazilian players, you can kind of apply a lot of this logic, right? But we're going to be going over to eFootballDB and I'm going to show you exactly why I've picked all of these players, right? We are going to start in goals with this guy, Adan, right? Who goes from a 76 overall. I will have the prices up as well. We'll check out eFootballDB in a second for those. But this guy, right? The main two things you want to focus on here for this under 2100 squad, right? Like, look, let's don't be one of those guys that white benches, man. I mean, Konami are looking at all this data and they're seeing what players are, you know, playing this game mode and people are asking for filters the whole time. There's always cheap ways to get around it. There's always cheap ways to white bench and, you know, be able to do things that you, like, you shouldn't need to do. I mean, you should be looking at these to improve your level of play without any risk to anything like there's no risk to ratings you're completing the match pass if somebody beats you 10-1 and you still score your goal and you know complete the challenge all you have to do is score goals they can't make it any easier for you you literally just have to play and score goals and have fun scoring goals so you will get people i came up against the guy earlier and he had i mean i'll just try to show you his team so this was the guy's team i came up against earlier and like, he, he literally just had on his bench, like, 50 rated players on his bench, his entire bench. And then he had a bad goalkeeper, and then the rest of the players were literally just, you know, he'd like 89 up front. But this isn't even the worst team that I've seen of people white benching, where they literally stack their bench with the lowest rated players that they can buy to bring down the overall collective and team base strength. And then they're able to obviously go back in and, you know, get in some unbelievable players, um across different lines of the pitch so i mean furahashi up front there is 89 overall nakata in midfield as the legend and then he's got you know an 86 left back as well so yeah i mean look you can do what you want lads but don't be that guy man don't be that guy and that was another team that i came up against so this is kind of more in line with the white bench and now so that was another squad there obviously lads and look this guy had mbappe up front benzema attacking mid he had varane at the back laris coleman diaby and then he had like 50 rated centre back, a 52 right back, Gay Clichy left back, the Abbey and DMF, a 64 DMF again. And then he had his whole bench 50 to bring down his collective strength. So I actually went on to destroy this guy. Like I literally destroyed him um, because, you know, like if somebody is doing this, they're trying to give themselves an advantage for a reason, you know, and that's all I'll say about it. Anyway. I'm going to go over to eFootballDB, which we are here now, and I'm going to show you this team. So we're going to have a Dan in goals, really good keeper. You'll notice something with all of these players, lads, right? And it is that they have unwavering form, right? So <clears throat> when we go back to here and we go back to uh, our squad here, you will see that every single player that I have here is going to have unwavering form, right? Every single player. So all of these, my starting eleven. 
are going to be unwavering. And Spain have a lot of these guys that have a good selection of them. So you'll see he has un unwavering. You'll see Mark Bartra has unwavering. Lucas Vasquez at the back, unwavering. Pretty much everyone on my team has unwavering uh, in the starting lineup. Um, and that's why I, you know, I wanted my players to be up more often than not, especially when there's no live update there at the moment. So when we actually go over here, we're going to have our goalie, 76 overall, 32,000 GP. We're going to have one Carlos. This guy is an absolute monster, lads. He's under 5,000 GP. You don't even need to train him up. He's got unwavering form. He's got interception. He's got pinpoint cross and a nearly cross with speeding bullet. He's only 68 overall. So, you know, you can use players like that that you're not white benching. But you are still getting bang for your buck with these players and keeping the rating down so that you can get other players in. This guy's a monster as well, Danny Vivian. Brilliant. He's got blocker and interception and man marking and header, which is unbelievable for a player that costs less than 30,000 GP. We've got Bartra, who's one of the best players pound for pound in the game. He's only 15,000 GP, although that might be, uh, yeah, I might have to check that. We've got Vasquez on the right. He can play right mid or right back. Our right wing so he can play anywhere we've got this guy ruben perez he's a monster as well even though we're not going to be training him up look what he actually does train up to man as a defensive minded player that costs you barely anything like under what 10 g um which is you know very very good obviously he's not a fast player but he's got everything else passing dribbling you name it he's got it he's got an absolute bag of tricks there and he's got really good aggression and all that but you don't need to train him up because it'll boost your rating too high we've got this guy jordan in jordan in midfield you can swap him in with sergio canales and you'll still have room for it he's a really really good box to box player not the fastest but excellent on the ball and plays way above his stats we've also got munayin one of my favorite Pez players of all time. Always bought him up along the years, even when he was like 17, 18 in the game, way back when in Pez 12 or whatever it was. Um, hard to believe he's only 30, but yeah, an absolutely incredible dribbler. Plays way above his stats as well. And of course, has unwavering form. Also, we've got Jesus Navas. Did I skip Pedri? I think I did skip Pedri. We have Pedri there somewhere. I didn't open up, but we have Pedri. We'll take a look at him. We've got Tomas as well. Uh, and Jesus Navas again fantastic players and then last but not least we do have Pedri who kind of is the linchpin of this squad uh, he's kind of the luxury item that we have here and even on our bench right we had this player you know you are allowed obviously to have a couple of um, a couple of players here but we have Adama for a bit of speed we've Canales and Iniesta we've Mata we've Suzo who's got uh, excellent stats as well he can play anywhere plus he has unwavering form and we've got Iglesias Borja Iglesias who is a super sub and he's excellent he actually played in one of the matches for me and was brilliant so we've got a nice balanced squad we're under the team base strength so if you guys are struggling and you want to get a squad for you know under 150,000 maybe 200,000 GP um, I think this is the way to go and give me give it a try and let me know I'll have a couple of clips in here as well while I'm speaking uh, but yeah let me know what you guys think of this squad as you can see I've already completed uh, the two first stages of the challenge um, and we're on to this one here where we should be able to get it with this squad but yeah you've just got a lot of variety with this squad so that is it for me lads I'll be back quite soon with another video if you're enjoying the channel peace